So Commons, the company that makes this. A coal rolling diesel talk monster is making a change, a change from diesel to a greener future, hydrogen. Now the development of zero carbon technology is very important and many manufacturers are deep in development trying to make our planet a better place. Now like I said Cummins is known for making powerful turbo diesel motors but in a world where emission laws get more strict the diesel engine finds itself staring down the barrel of a loaded gun. But Cummins is not worried. They believe that their high torque motors still have a future by utilizing the technology of hydrogen. And on the 9th of May 2022, Cummins debuted their 15 litre hydrogen engine. Now this engine is built on Cummins new fuel agnostic platform where below the head gasket each fuel type's engine has largely similar components. But above the head gasket each engine has different components for the different fuel types. Now full production is expected in 2027 and this engine is part of Cummins zero carbon program. Cummins started testing and developing their internal combustion hydrogen engine in July 2021 and they have made impressive early results, already achieving production power and torque targets over 1100 Nm of torque and 290 horsepower from their medium duty engine. Now this is really impressive, making that amount of power on a new fuel type and this is just the beginning. Cummins say that additional testing on more advanced engines will start soon. Now Cummins first focus will be to produce hydrogen internal combustion engines in both the 15 litre and 6.7 litre displacements, believing that these engines are used a lot and that changing these engines will make a big difference and help the industry reduce its GHG emissions and I truly believe that this is great. Cummins is huge in the industrial and building industry. Their engines are used everywhere so if they can make their machines carbon neutral it would be great. Plus, the more companies that invest in the development for the hydrogen internal combustion engine, the faster technology will advance. We already have Toyota, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Mazda and now Cummins on the hydrogen hype train and hopefully soon more will follow suit. Now why are all of these companies going for hydrogen internal combustion engines instead of just doing electric or using fuel cell technology? Well, both have their own downfalls. Electric engines struggle to last under load, so if you put an electric engine in a workhorse, the range between charges would be abysmal. Then comes the price. Come and say that this new engine can be fueled at a lower initial price than a fuel cell or a battery electric vehicle. Then comes the price of the batteries, which don't last forever, so if you want to use this truck for many years or over many jobs, you will have to replace the batteries and that's not cheap. And then lastly, electric cars aren't exactly 100% green. You see, producing electric cars creates 68% higher manufacturing emissions compared to producing combustion engines. In other words, producing electric cars has a negative effect on the environment. But in the long run, if you drive a lot, electric cars are cleaner than gas-powered internal combustion engines. But remember, this is hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines. So just all around, it would be more green, as long as you find a green way to produce said hydrogen. Now that leaves us with a fuel cell, so why don't they use a fuel cell instead of hydrogen internal combustion engines? Well, it's simple actually, fuel cells are more expensive and less durable. So further development of the hydrogen internal combustion engine is the future and this future makes me happy. We can save the planet and still have cool turbo noises. But let me know down below what you think, are you on the internal combustion hydrogen power wagon thing like I am or do you believe electric is still the future or fuel cells or or I've seen many comments of people saying that diesel is still the future so so let me know down below what you think maybe I'll go check out some of these technologies and make a video on it yeah so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel I've got many more videos on the future of motoring on cars new cars on my own cars as well so yeah so if that's something you would like go through my channel see if there's something you like I'll check you guys in the next one Cheers, I.